All right, guys, even though Android 15 has not actually been fully released publicly to your Pixel devices, Android 15 QPR1 is actually already in beta, quarterly platform release. So basically, that is the sort of feature drop that's going to come after Android 15. So they're like way ahead of schedule on these betas. And while I'm not going to do a like super deep dive into QPR1 Beta 2, which is the new release in this video, I am going to talk about one specific feature. As always, if you want to get in on these betas, the simplest way to do this is to jump to the first link in the description, perhaps the only link in the description, actually, and you can simply opt in. Now, keep in mind, once you're on the beta track, if you want to leave the beta track, you will need to wait until QPR1 is released stably to the public. You can opt out and then upgrade to that. Any other way you leave is going to require your device to be wiped. So what is the big piece of news about QPR1 Beta 2 that warrants its own video? It's something that's actually been rumored for a while, something that we've talked about for a while, and it's finally kind of here in kind of a different form than maybe we were expecting. We're going to look at this page here, androiddevelopers.googleblog.com, in the developer preview, desktop windowing on Android tablets. We've talked about a desktop mode on Android for a long time. We've talked about how they've been working on it in the background. They've been improving it. And in this beta, it has rolled out, but not in the way that we were all thinking, where you would plug your device into an external monitor and it would then run this desktop mode. I do believe that is still coming, but for now, what we have is this available on Pixel tablets. Users can run multiple apps side by side simultaneously. You can see Gmail in a window and Chrome in a window and then a picture and picture, probably a video call or something like that. Taskbar is fixed and shows the running app. So the taskbar, rather than being, you know, kind of transient and popping up, it becomes fixed on the bottom. And there's a new header bar with window controls at the top of each window. Users can customize. So the ability to close and maximize and potentially do some other things. So how do you do this? Well, you can see in this little GIF image here, they are just using Chrome like normal, but then they have this little bar up at the top of the screen on Chrome. They grab that and drag the app to the middle of the screen and it switches the device into this desktop mode. Unlike Samsung DeX in the past, there was an entirely different interface. You would basically be booting into it by hitting a button and then booting back out of it in Android. This is just part of the Android interface or maybe even sort of linked in with the Pixel launcher. It's going to be interesting to see how this sort of rolls out to other devices, how other OEMs are able to implement this. But once they've drug Chrome down and they're now in this sort of desktop windowing mode, you can see the taskbar gets fixed and launching the calendar opens it up inside a window. So it literally acts almost like a toggle. Once you drag this thing down, you are in desktop mode. You can see here that there are a couple of other ways to do this. So I guess you can just click on that little bar and maybe there's a pop-up. You can also use a hotkey Windows Command or Search plus Control down. And then you can also leave it by hitting the same key plus H to run everything in full screen. Or you can close all active windows or grab the window handle at the top of the window and drag it to the top of the screen to sort of full screen it back into the normal Android interface. A couple more little neat things that they're doing that I think really smart. This is just like Chrome on your desktop. Grab a tab, drag it out, and it's going to open that up in its own independent window. There's a lot of really good stuff that could come from something like this. Now, right now, this is only working on the Pixel tablet. So I did go as far as to grab a, my Pixel 8a, install the beta on it. I plugged it into an external monitor after going into developer options and enabling, as you can see here, how you're actually supposed to do this. You go into developer options and enable freeform windows. I did that. I also enabled freeform windows on an external monitor. When I plugged it in, I'm getting the same old kind of half broken desktop interface that we were getting for the last good long while. So that's not a thing. I also grabbed my original Pixel Fold and I enabled Freeform Windows on that 
And same thing, there is no little bar up at the top of the screen. I even went into developer options and I tried playing with the DPI to make it think it was a much larger screen than it was. I know that in the past, you could sort of trick Android into showing the task bar on smaller devices by playing with the DPI. So I was hopeful that I could do the same thing with the Pixel Fold, but no luck there either. Maybe there's some way to enable it, but more than likely, it's just on the Pixel tablet. Now, like I said, I do think that that's something that's going to change. I do think that we will eventually see this feature roll out to other devices. Will we see it on their foldables running like literally on the screen? That I'm a little bit skeptical of. I'm hopeful that they will do it, but I'm a little tentative on that one. But do I think that in the very near future, you're going to be able to plug in something like a Pixel 9 Pro XL and then have this interface pop up on your external monitor. Yeah, I do think that that's something that is probably very much in the work. Again, we've been talking about this interface for a long time, and I think it's just very, very cool now that we are finally seeing what it's going to look like in action. I don't think it's a coincidence that Google only as recently as the Pixel 8 has decided to finally enable display out over their USB-C port. With older Pixel devices, the 6, the 7, the original Pixel Fold, you don't get display out over this USB-C port, but they have finally enabled it with some of the newer devices. I don't think that is a coincidence. I think that they are preparing us for something. If I'm not mistaken, they also did add some settings for display out in this beta where you can actually change the orientation that you're going to see on that external monitor. So they are definitely working on that feature as well. So like I said, guys, there is a link in the description to the website where you can go and opt into or opt out of this beta. You can jump in there and test it out yourself. If you happen to have a Pixel tablet and you've tested this out, let me know how well this is working for you. I do not have a Pixel tablet, so I am unable to properly uh, test this thing out. So thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.